going to discuss the appearance of relativistic mo motion and rotation in two and three dimensions. I'm going to be comparing two animations of special relativity from spacetimetravel.org. The first is a two-dimensional uh, simulation of lines moving toward and away from an observer. The second is going to be a three-dimensional simulation of dice moving toward an observer. This is all part of an ongoing conversation I'm having on physics forums regarding Terrell revisited the invisibility of the Lorentz contraction. Now, both of these animations show a set of oncoming objects as they travel along at relativistic speeds. The rods on the right are receding and approaching at 70% of the speed of light, whereas the dice over on the left are approaching at 90% of the speed of light. Now, my eye seems to detect the motion of the line on the right as entirely straight line motion, whereas on the left, my eye detects the motion of the edges of the dice as rotating motion. When I play the straight line motion, the oncoming lines seem to be stretched by the same amount as the distance between them, but the dice seem to be stretched to a different amount, but that is because the original organization of the dice has about two or three dice spaces in between each die front, so it shouldn't be a surprise that they are further apart than the lines in the diagram on the lines in the diagram on the right. How could I say for sure that the oncoming lines are stretched by the same amount uh, as the distance between them? So let's pause these videos at an opportune time. This one I will get back here. And this one, of course, I have to actually slide it back. So I'll pause it right about there. Now one thing I can say for sure about the blue lines on the right they definitely seem to preserve linearity. Uh, they are lined up with the checker grid in the picture, and they stay lined up with the checker grid in the picture. On the other hand, my eye tells me that the edges of the dice are not lined up properly, but is that real or is it an optical illusion? So what I'm testing then is whether the edges on the, on the one face of the die are lined up in this image, are they actually aligned in the other image even though it looks like they are not? So I have two observations to make here. One is that it does indeed appear that the top and bottom lines of the one face actually do appear to keep straight line paths. Um, and on one other point I should probably make is that this checkerboard pattern that we have here shouldn't quite remain straight as it passes underfoot. I, I decided to look up panoramic views in the Google to see if I couldn't make this point clearly. Here's a panoramic view of a fence near St. Bartholome um, I found on Wikimedia Commons. You can see that this fence seems to be angled up over on the on the right hand side. Then it flattens um, and then it moves back downward at a downward angle over on the left. Um, even though that it is a straight line fence, it does not appear from the perspective of the eye to be a straight line. If I could do a similar panoramic view with the die face, I should expect when the one face uh, becomes perpendicular with the observer, as the fence does, um, then we would see the Lorentz contracted view of the one face. So this would come up and eventually flatten out, and this would also come up and eventually flatten out, and then go back. So. In order to see that, it would be helpful to have some additional structure in the dice video, such as a fence or a power lines or something like that. 
Additional structure of straight power lines or a straight fence would provide the extra detail um, to the environment so that we could see the Lorentz contraction at the point of nearest approach, uh, the dice face's nearest approach to the observer. Let's look at one other detail by pausing these two videos at an appropriate time. What I want to see is the apparent elongation of the parallel lines. Here, comparing the back-to-front length of the oncoming line with the back-to-front length of the stationary line. In the dice video, these two lines simply don't feel parallel. This one back here does not feel parallel to that one. These two do not feel parallel to those two. If I were to draw the whole thing out, do do these could these four lines share a plane? Are those on the same plane um, of view? And could I make the case that whoops, I just drew that one terribly. Okay, could I make the case that um, this these lines maybe formed a wall, I don't know, it looks like there's a wall on the other side. Maybe that is, yeah, I, I want to, I feel like connecting those, like the, the back face of those dice is aligned with the front face of these. Uh, that's not even a, that also has a four on it. How did that get there? Ah, because I went too far. Um, so, anyway, I, I think that, that is on, those are on different planes. I'm going to try that again with this placement here. Um, okay, so that rep, those, those two parallel lines are s supposedly aligned in a vertical plane, and these parallel lines are aligned now, but I don't think those could possibly be the same vertical parallel plane. So I think this plane is coming up this way. And um, if that was f coming from a, s a similar vertical parallel plane, that would have to be somewhere in the background. And so, um, OK, I really can't tell at all for sure. But what I would want is to have this same kind of stationary structure um, that we have over here in the like the checkerboard pattern that we have in the in the rods demo and put that same kind of stationary structure in the dice video so we can easily tell um, that this the paths of these of those parallel edges are actually taking a straight line path through space just as it is clear that these the paths of these is following a straight line path through space and then we could even, if we uh, if we followed it along a panoramic view, we should be able to see that it gets to a certain point where the these face these edges should become parallel in our perspective, and then they would go back to becoming uh, non-parallel as they passed away in the distance. I think if you brought that one face around um, until the bottom edge of the the bottom edge of the one face and the top edge of the one face were parallel and the velocity vector was perpendicular to our point of view vector um, uh, you could you could then measure the uh, Lorentz contraction of the across the one face of the die <coughs> but you need that stationary structure in place uh, the a fence or power lines to help identify the more familiar panoramic distortions that are easy to recognize but maybe a bit hard to account for. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment below or on physics forums. I will say ta-ta for now.